What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial from Mr. Brightside by The Killers. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs by The Killers that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you want to know to play Mr. Brightside on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 4th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know to play Mr. Brightside on guitar is the four chords we need to play this song. The first one is A. The next one is D. The next one is E, and the last one is F sharp minor. And I'm gonna have a beginner way to play that F sharp minor in the pinned comment below, as well as chord charts for all the other comments as well. And guys, the last thing you need to know before we dive into Mr. Brightside is the structure of this song. We're gonna start with a verse, then we're gonna go to pre-chorus, and then chorus, then we're gonna do verse, pre-chorus, and chorus once more. The whole song just repeats just like that. From there, guys, we're gonna dive straight into that super iconic verse picking progression that we all know and love. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna have one kind of shape that's gonna stay. That way we just have to move one finger throughout the whole entire thing. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. This shape is gonna feel a little funky and weird at first, and it's probably gonna feel like awkward and your hand's gonna cramp a little bit, but after you do it a couple of times, you'll be totally fine, and you'll see why we do it this way because it makes it a lot easier to play this picking pattern. So what our first shape with that is gonna be, is gonna be 11th on the D string and 11th on the high E string, and then we're gonna do 13th on the G string, and we're gonna do 14th on the B string. And that's our first shape right there. And we're pretty much gonna keep these fingers right here through the whole entire picking pattern, just like that. The only finger that's gonna move is this one. So what our progression goes like is we're gonna go D, G, B, D, high E, B, G, B. And that's gonna be our progression through the whole entire thing. Just like that, we're gonna repeat that through the whole thing even whenever we move the shape. So that's gonna be our first shape. Our second shape, we're gonna keep these three fingers exactly where they are, and we're gonna stretch this finger right here, our pointer finger, to 10th fret on the D string. So we're just moving that down one fret. Man, I know that's a stretch. You guys are probably like, what the heck? This is not a beginner lesson at all. And I know it's tough, but I promise once you practice that a little bit and just work on getting your fingers stretched out, move your thumb around back there and see if that helps a little bit to get you a better stretch and a better reach. And it's, it's not too bad, I promise. You'll get it, just need a little bit of practice. So same picking pattern there. We're gonna go D, G, B, D, high E, B, G, B. And guys, I know that shape is a huge stretch, so I'm gonna make the last shape super easy for you guys. All we're gonna do is open up that D string, so we're gonna play that open. We're gonna have the same exact picking pattern with these three staying in the same place they've been through the whole pattern. We're gonna have D, G, B, D, high E, B, G, B. And we're gonna play that last shape two times, and that is it, guys. That's everything you need to know to play the Mr. Brightside iconic verse picking progression. Now, I know that's pretty tough. The biggest part of this is really gonna be that second chord stretch, which is gonna be a little bit tricky for beginners, and the fact that it's really fast. So I would encourage you to start really slow with this before you try to play it along with the song and get discouraged, and then just kind of build up your speed the more familiar you get with this. The other side of this, too, is that I'm using a pick, and I'm using that to kind of be as true to the song as possible because I'm thinking they're doing the same thing. But one thing that helped me a lot and that helped me be able to play this a lot faster is actually doing this finger picking. So. So I can play it actually a little bit faster whenever I play it just finger picked like that, but I feel like they're actually using a pick in the song. So to kind of keep that as accurate as possible to the original version of the song. I'm using a pick as well. And I think there's gonna be a lot of people out there, especially beginners who are gonna be more comfortable using a pick than doing the finger picking. So guys, I'm gonna play through that very slowly so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna play through it a couple times full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. Slowly should look something like this. And guys, a couple times through that super iconic, super beautiful Mr. Brightside verse picking progression will look about like this. Whew. 
Whew. And from there, guys, things get much easier. We're now into pre-chorus. For pre-chorus, our chord progression is gonna be F sharp minor, E, D, and D again. And guys, again, I know that F sharp minor is a little bit intimidating because it is a bar chord. I will have a beginner way to play that in the pinned comment below, so be sure to check that out if you're a beginner. Our strum pattern for pre-chorus is gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up for each chord. So down, down, up, down, up, twice for each chord. So a couple times through that pre-chorus chord progression with that strum pattern should look something like this. From there, we're into our chorus and bridge chord progression. For that, we're gonna have A, D, F sharp minor, and E. And this one is really easy for the strum pattern. We're gonna use that same strum pattern, but we're gonna split it in half. So we're gonna have down, down, up, down, up for each chord. Really, really simple, really common strum pattern, really easy. You guys are gonna blow right through this. So a couple times through that chorus and bridge chord progression with that strum pattern should look about like this. And guys, the last thing I wanted to cover for Mr. Brightside is that little bridge picking thing. It's kind of a little mini solo and it's super fun and super easy to play. We're gonna start up here on 10th fret of the G string. We're gonna pick that twice. And then we're gonna go to 11th on the G and then 13th on the G. And then we're gonna go to 11th on the G, back to 13th on G, back to 11th on the G, back to 10th on the G, and then we're gonna go 10th again, 10th again, 11th again, back to 10th again on the G, and then we're gonna pop up to the D string and we're gonna go 13th on the D, and then 11th on the D, and then 10th on the D. Just like that, and that's it, and I believe that repeats twice through the bridge. So again, for this picking, I'm gonna play through it really slowly so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna play through it a couple times full speed so you can match it up with the song. Slowly should look something like this. And guys, closer to full speed, a couple times through that little bridge solo should look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Mr. Brightside on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 560 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Whew, guys. I was so excited to share this one with y'all. I love, man, I, who doesn't love Mr. Brightside, okay? It's just one of those classic songs, man. Just like everybody, everybody, especially every guitarist, like knows that song and just knows that like little iconic intro riff and knows like every word of this song. It's just, I don't know, it's just one of those awesome, really great songs. I love this one. I'm actually a huge fan of the Killers, even outside of this song, so I'm always down to teach some Killers. This is one of those songs that I had wanted to teach for a really long time. It's one that I love, and I've always wanted to like find a really good beginner way to play this on guitar. The way that they actually play this, it's actually not a crazy hard song to play, even the way that they play it, but it's all played on electric guitar, of course, and for acoustic, it doesn't really work and it's just like the shapes are kind of funny and a little bit challenging to play and so this version that i taught i kind of tried to like meet in the middle between 
as accurate to the original version as possible and as beginner friendly as possible. I try to kind of find the, the happy medium in between there. But anyways, guys, this is such a great song. It's just timeless. I love Mr. Brightside. I love the Killers. I'm a huge fan of the Killers. And I just had a blast teaching this one. This is one of those lessons where it wasn't like I, some of the lessons I just kind of teach just because I feel like it's going to get views or I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to want to learn this one, that kind of thing. This isn't one of those. This is one that I taught just because I love this song and I had a lot of fun learning it and I had a lot of fun teaching it. So I hope you guys have as much fun learning the song as I did and jamming on the song as I did. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon.